First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. It's Tyler down here at the Midwest Regional checking in team number 1756 Argos. I'm here with Maria, Nell, and Chad. Hey guys, this is one of my favorite robots in first. You might have seen this on Fun Premiere Night. It was my choice for best in show, and I absolutely love this machine. We're going to be previewing some of the intake as this goes through, uh, the index or elevator, uh, climber, and this amazing shooter here on behind the bumpers. Uh, so Chad, I want to start with you. Let's talk about this uh, intake system, put a couple power cells through. Let us know what's going on with this cool machine. So uh, first thing we got these pneumatic cylinders that go down and they actually hit our bumper. So there's no real stress on the actual um, cylinders. And then we have these rollers, the intake. And the first two rollers are hollow. So in case we hit some, they flex. And then the back one is completely solid. And then we have, uh, four uh, wheels in our hopper that intake it into our indexer. So as you guys are looking at this design here, uh, think about, you know, volume and quantity, right? And how many power cells can you pull through that sort of thing? So um, when you looked at this, this type of, uh, this grip that you use on this, can you just kind of tell me the, what was the thought process behind using this type of intake? Um, when we normally design an intake, our thoughts are, we touch it, we have it. So we wanted something that would grab it instantly and have it, but not something that would jam, and this was the best idea we came up with. And it's been working out really well for you guys so far. So let's kind of continue our power cell journey uh, and go up into the uh, elevator that you guys have here. Who's gonna be talking about that? Now, all right. So we have our elevator here. And the power cells come through here and we have belts and pulleys. And the belts and pulleys are spaced so it can pull up into the elevator to get to our turret. We have two angles and the back belt is going at a certain speed and the front belt is going at a certain speed so the power bolts do not get jammed. And then we have time of flight sensors so it spaces them out properly. And we don't want the space, we don't want them jammed in there because then it's gonna have problems getting to our turret. So the time of flight sensors are at the bottom and at the top so it knows when to activate and go up and carry it to our turret. Yeah, as we go uh, into this turret here, uh, really slick. I watched this uh, earlier, and just you guys are just so accurate. You're putting them in at a really high rate of speed. Tell me a little bit more about this cool turret. So our turret is actually based off of a turret design we had used for a demo bot a couple years back. And uh, we just upped the size of it to account for the size balls that we're using this year. Um, but our turret is uh, tracking everything based off of a limelight. Um, our coders have done a fantastic job with using our limelight to be able to accurately determine the distance away, the arc. We can adjust our arc of the arc of our ball using a hood that we have with a mock rack and pinion system. And then our uh, limelight is also able to adjust the RPMs of our shooter to allow for the ball to go at a proper speed and the rate of our elevator to make sure that the balls feed in at an appropriate rate to make it go as smoothly as possible. Let's wrap up here. Uh, the climber on this robot has been very consistent for you as well, too. So let's uh, wrap up this cool machine. Talk about the climber for me. Okay. So our climber here, this is one of our own designs. And so we have a sprocket right into these holes. And then we have a ratchet up here with our pneumatic cylinders running to it. And our pneumatics run up to it, and it presses the ratchet down and so it can go up. And then once it gets there, then it can stay there climbing, it won't fall back down. So it's just to hold our robot to have contact with it. And then it can go down, and so we can raise as high as we want to or lower it. And then here we have rubber on our hook so it doesn't slide. And then our hook design, we only have one hook in the center, it keeps us balanced. So if we climb with another team, depending on where we climb, we can balance. Well, Argos, uh, as I mentioned, I love this team, love the designs every single year. Great aesthetic looking machine as well. So Argos, good luck here at the Midwest Regional. Can't wait to see you guys, uh, hopefully in future competitions uh, throughout the season as well too. Good luck to you. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.
You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent. 